Well, it is tax time, but as some begin filing, they're finding out they're victims of fraud. For example, someone applied for unemployment in their name. And many victims tell us the Department of Employment Security isn't helping. Our Tara Molina is working for Chicago, taking their concerns straight to the state. Tara, some victims thought they already shut down these fraudsters. Exactly, Brad, months ago, some of the people that we're hearing from since this story first aired last week are saying they thought they took the steps and the time to shut down their fraudulent claims, but they're getting this in the mail anyway after thinking IDES had taken care of it. $11,832. Almost $12,000. That's how much money went to the fraudster that applied for unemployment in Mike Burrell's name. Retired, he found out about it when this form showed up in his mailbox. I should have never gotten this. He's already filed his taxes, so he's worried this will impact his refund. But despite several calls and one returned call, he still doesn't have an answer from the state as he waits for help from IDES. I'm yeah, still waiting for IDES to call me back. Mike is one of many who've reached out to us with concerns since our first story on this tax form and long waits for help from the state first aired last week. If this information has been already reported to the government. Then there's a whole big mess there. Beth Bingold, also retired, says she called IDES months ago to close a fraud claim when she got a debit card in the mail. But she got another upsetting piece of mail. A 1099-G form detailing the more than $7,000 the fraudster she thought she shut down ended up getting from IDES. What are you doing, IDES, to protect us? A spokesperson for IDES told us once a fraudulent claim is reported, investigated, and confirmed as fraudulent by IDES, the victim will not be held responsible for repaying any benefits fraudsters may have received in their name. The victim will also not be held responsible for tax implications resulting from a fraudulent claim. Until I can talk to someone at IDS, I'm, I'm stuck. I followed up with the state asking again why those that have already taken the time and the steps to shut down these fraudulent claims, why they're still getting these in the mail and dealing with this all over again. Still no answer tonight, but we'll keep asking. Brad? Mm, it seems to be a theme, Tara. We know from your last report on this, thousands are waiting for help on this issue. Thousands, Brad, per our most recent public records request that's been filled by the state, by IDES, there were 9,000 phone numbers waiting in the callback queue that's related to this issue. Our Tara Molina on top of it and staying on top of it. Thank you, Tara. Tara and CBS2 is working for Chicago, helping you get through the challenges of unemployment. You can see all of our stories on our website, CBS Chicago. Click on the Working for Chicago section.